Hello everyone and welcome. Today, we're going to be looking at World of Tanks. World of Tanks is very fun and actually pretty easy to get into, but it also has plenty of depth behind it. It's pretty easy to get into battle right off the bat. All you have to do is press the button and go. But once you start traversing the screens, you get a feel for how in-depth the whole game system is. From buying new tanks to buying new parts to tanks, there's a whole lot of customization options in the game for tanks in general. In addition to creating parties or platoons, you can also create companies, a larger group of people moving forward to accomplish one goal. Now, you're not just limited to going into battle, there's things like missions and goals to accomplish to help you progress through the game itself and, well, get better tanks. The gameplay is pretty fun. You start off in your third person view and you can also go into first person. It's kind of like shooting down your sights in a tank. One really positive point about World of Tanks is that it doesn't feel like an arcade style game. It really has this meat behind it where your tank feels like it's actually moving like a tank. You don't automatically just snap to a shot or your tank just doesn't automatically turn around. It feels like it has weight to it and your shots don't automatically just hit. You have to do a little bit of lead time. Obviously, you have to take into consideration the type of terrain you're on, whether or not your target is moving, and how far away they are, because really, all of these factors do matter when you're shooting. Also, you have to take into consideration what type of tank you're firing against, and where most of their armor lies, because shooting a tank to the side is gonna be a little more effective than shooting them from the front, because as the game explains when you first start out, most tanks are more armored in the front. One thing I really found nice is that you can actually conceal your tank in bushes or behind trees or behind rocks, but you really can't shoot through rocks to try and conceal yourself better from the enemy. World of Tanks finds a very good middle ground between simulation and arcade style. It's easy to pick up, it's easy to play, and it's fun. If you'd like to learn more about World of Tanks, click the link in the description below. So you started playing World of Tanks, and you want to promote it in your videos with the Play Now link. Let's show you how to do that. First, you'll have to go to NETV's main website, www.ne.tv. Once you're there, you can click on the dashboard on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Once you're there, it'll prompt you to log in if you haven't already done so. If you don't have an account, it'll ask you to sign up. All you have to do is enter your basic information. Shortly after, you'll receive an email just to confirm that you signed up and everything's ready to go. You'll want to navigate back to the dashboard page where you'll have to enter your payment information if you haven't done so already. To do that, click on the little card on the top left hand corner. That's going to take you to the payment page where you enter your PayPal email and click accept. Go back to dashboard, and you'll be ready to go with the search bar on the bottom left. As you can see here, I typed in World of Tanks because that's the game I want to promote. Here I can see a list of offers and their payout. I'm going to go ahead and click the $1 payout option and go to the next page. Once I go to the next page, it'll show me a list of countries where the $1 payout is available. Also, it will show my Play Now link at the top left. All I have to do is copy and paste that into my video description when I make a video about World of Tanks. If you have any comments or questions about the NETV program, let us know in the comments below. And until the next video, guys.